guys welcome back to another episode of the fully charged gardener thank you very much for tuning in again i really do appreciate it so today's video uh something a little bit different um i took myself on location down to the beautiful city of bath um to cut a hedge for a friend of mine i trim this little hedge every year for them as a favor um i thought it was a great opportunity just to um highlight something that's become apparent to me and i was quite surprised actually but um I overheard some of the conversations that people were having on the stands at Soltex and it seems that it is quite an issue we still have, um, is range anxiety. Um, I think quite a few self-employed gardeners especially are missing out on the benefits of the battery kit because of range anxiety. So um, let's have a look at some of the clips that I filmed down in the beautiful city of Bath um, and bear with me on this because the filming didn't exactly go to plan. I don't think my camera appreciated being out on location. But let's have a look what I come up with. Hi guys, well I've come to a friend's house in the city of Bath, a uh, bit of a location shoot for you today to talk about one thing that I think we're suffering from in this industry and that is range anxiety. I think there's far too many self-employed gardeners out there that are missing out on the benefits of the battery technology due to range anxiety and this place is a fantastic example of how you can get over this range anxiety. Now I hear lots of people talking about battery life, I need a battery that's going to last all day. Well, here's an example of why you don't. So my friend here has an outdoor socket. So you bring your battery charger with you and you just say to the customer, can I please put my battery on charge while I'm here? And I'm sure they'll say yes. I'm quite passionate about the battery technology because uh, it brings a lot of benefits, not only to you as the operator, you're not dealing with the vibration and the fumes, but it's more so the noise factor of things. Um, just going to do a quick little demonstration here to show you what you could be offering clients in terms of a better customer experience. So bear with me with this little demonstration. I'm going to need my ear defenders for this bit. Okay, so I know these aren't identical machines, so bear with me. But the idea is just to show the noise side of it. So the battery machine in operation. Now for the good old two stroke. So you can see there's a massive difference there in terms of noise. Now I guarantee that in a built up area like we are in today, people are going to notice that. Um, so if you're the guy that's still left using the two stroke machines, you're going to get left behind as customers adopt the guy who's using the battery technology. Now I know I've just said about the machine being quiet, uh, so there'll be people out there going, why is he still wearing ear defenders? I wear these ear defenders for music, so it's just down to personal preference. Now. Today I'm using the HLA65, which is a fantastic bit of kit. Um, I've seen a lot of people criticising these units, saying that they're not professional. I disagree, so I'll just show you some uh, cutting performance so you can see this. Fantastic cutting performance. Let's get a bit of a slow As you can see, guys. 
guys, this HLA65 has done a fantastic job on this hedge. All this talk of battery kit not being professional and not producing the same quality of cut is absolute rubbish. It's, uh, it's fantastic kit. Like I say, I've uh, brought myself into the field here in the beautiful city of Bath for your benefit. Now, um, do we have any volunteers for coming and picking up this rubbish for me? Okay, so as I say, the filming didn't go too well, but hopefully you got the, uh, the idea of what I was trying to get across there. Now, in terms of um, sort of city environments, I hate to use the word urban, but I suppose that is the word that people are going to use. Um, noise is a big issue, um, and I just can't understand why this range anxiety seems to be holding some people back from embracing the benefits of the battery technology. There's lots of options out there, you know, inverters in your vans and just ask, like I said in the video, asking customers if you can charge your battery while you're there. Being obsessed with having a battery that's going to last all day isn't necessarily the case. But when you look at the hedge trimmer I was using in the video, the HLA65, the battery range on that is absolutely superb. With this uh, AP300 battery, which is what I was using, I will put the details up of how long that lasts with that. Okay, um, and then like I say, with the AL500 charger, 35 minutes fully charged, not a problem. Buy more than one battery, that's what we do here. We have one battery that will be running in the unit, and then while that's running in the unit, we'll have one on charge and we just switch over. Um, you can use the umbilical with this little adapter to go in these long reach hedge trimmers, but I don't like it because that cable becomes a pain in the ass. But there we go, no need for it. Um, I will be doing a review on the HLA65 and its bigger brother, the 85, in a separate video. But as you can see from the clips in there, it's a pretty impressive piece of kit. Um, I appreciate that in the video, I didn't have two long reach hedge trimmers for the noise comparison, because we do not have the petrol long reach hedge trimmer anymore. We got rid of them. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And the idea of this video is to engage with you guys in a bit of a debate. You know, it'd be interesting to hear why you're so reluctant to adopt the battery technology. Um, it'd be great to hear if you are a battery user, what you like about it, what you don't like about it, what you're excited for for the future. Because that, for me, is what is really exciting. You look at how long we've had this two-stroke technology and how many years of development that's had. And in such a short space of time, how far this battery kit has come along. Um, I just don't know why people aren't adopting it. I am very passionate about it because I think it's awesome kit. I think the benefits it brings, you know, less noise, less vibration, you're not messing around with fuel fumes, you're not having to carry around fuel, you're not having to mess with fuel mixes, you know, machines that won't start. So let's talk about it. Um, thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys. That was actually quite a good time. <laughs>